I think we have to shoot the intro again because I forgot to mention the rock box. Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hey, I'm Fung, aka Leopard Crest, and today we're here to give our Thanksgiving leftovers a makeover on pizza with the rock box. And if you like the sound of crispy bacon, sour cream shallots, whipped goat's cheese, pistachios, these are gonna be fire. We're making two pizzas today, uh, and we're gonna start by crisping some bacon. So you're gonna need a pan that is able to withstand the rock box's awesome heat. Cast iron's great. Uh, this is commercial grade. Um, oops, what is it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Starting with a cold pan is because we want some low and slow action on these bacon strips because that's really gonna render the fat and we're gonna get beautiful, crispy, golden brown bacon at the end of this. Now I'm gonna fire up the rock box and we're gonna cook this bacon at low flame. Put it towards the front of the oven because the front of the oven tends to be uh, a little bit cooler than the back. So that's gonna um, be in the oven for about five minutes before it's time to flip it. While we're waiting for that to crisp up, we're gonna get started on the whipped goat's cheese that will go with our cranberry sauce. This is about 60 grams of goat's cheese. You're gonna wanna add one tablespoon of cream, a generous glug. The cream just works to kind of make the whipped goat's cheese silkier. Uh, and then we're also going to add one squeeze of lemon and we're gonna zhuzh it up. Ooh, look at that. Now that is what we're going for. You've got that silky texture that will pair super nicely with our cranberry sauce. Because I'm all about minimal washout, we're gonna use these to make our cream sauce as well. We're gonna wanna take our remaining cream, pour that into our jar, uh, take half a sprig of rosemary, and then this is just one clove of garlic that I've chopped roughly, and we're gonna season it. Give it a blend. And that's it, that's our cream sauce. So. Uh, it's totally fine if there are still fairly large pieces of rosemary. The point of including them in the sauce was so that they could um, get muddled a little bit, get roughened up a little bit, and start releasing beautiful oils uh, in the leaves so that we get uh, some infusion in the cream. This is all the prep that we needed for our cranberry sauce pizza. Let's see how our bacon is doing. Nice! So you can see that um, it's starting to curl a little bit, which is when you know it's time to give them a flip. Uh, rashers that were in the back of the pan get to go to the front. So they get to take turns at getting front seat. <laughs> the crispy bacon's gonna be salty, crunchy. Yeah, the rest of it is waiting for the bacon to cook. We're letting our bacon get their bake on. <laughs> oh, we're bacon bacon in the rock box. Good one. <laughs> one last flip. What you're going for is a light golden brown color because uh, later we're gonna put it on our pizza and it gets one last bake. So you want it to be able to survive that. You just wanna have a plate uh, ready with some paper towel to uh, rest your bacon on once it's out of the oven. There's gonna be bacon drippings left in your pan uh, and all you wanna do with that is throw it away. Just kidding. It would be way too ironic if we actually created more food waste trying to save food, right? So give our shallots some love in that bacon dripping, AKA liquid gold. <laughs> We're gonna give them a little seasoning. I've pushed all the shallots to the back of the pan and back in the oven they go. Oh my God. Oh, I love the smell of shallots or garlic getting softened on a hot pan. It's the simple things in life, you know? <laughs> it's up to you how much you want to brown them, uh, but I like having the textural variety here where you have these crispy, darker bits that have caramelized more, and then you've got uh, everything else which uh, has become nice and soft as well. So this is just one tablespoon of sour cream, full fat, <laughs> and a generous pinch of cayenne pepper, and we're going to mix in our shallots. Uh, it's gonna bring this creamy, beautiful 
texture, and along with that crispy bacon, it's just gonna be flavor town. It's time to make pizza. This is a 72 hour, 70% 70 hydration sourdough dough ball. Uh, if you need a dough ball recipe, there are heaps on gosni.com. They're nice and jiggly. I'm gonna open this out into a spinchone style. So spinchone is a Sicilian bread topped as well. Uh, and when it was brought to America, then it became classified as pizza. But in Sicily, spinchone is spinchone and pizza is pizza. We're going to kind of dimple it like you would a focaccia, really. We want to leave some air bubbles in there. Not too many so that our spinchone puffs up too much in the oven. And it's time to get our cream sauce on this. It's time to bake our spinchone. 400 degrees. And we're gonna bake it with a low flame. My favorite part of baking pizza is just watching it puff up in the oven. So gratifying. So when you bake the pizza low and slow like this, um, you get more kind of toasty, uh, nutty notes from the dough, even though you're using the exact same dough. So try it out. Uh, it's kind of cool to think of it as another flavor along with your toppings. We call this a booty check. <laughs> We're gonna bring on that whipped goat's cheese that we made earlier. Beautiful, silky, express yourself when you're swirling it. I'm only half kidding. <laughs> We're gonna add some pepper, a nice drizzle of olive oil. We're gonna add on a little bit of rosemary. Uh, next, we're gonna take some copa ham. Less is more with the copa ham because you kind of want it to be like a surprise when you eat one. <laughs> Pistachios. So that's gonna bring a really nice crunch um, to contrast the silky whipped goat's cheese. The star of our show, our leftover cranberry sauce, giving it a really beautiful, sweet, and acidic kick. And that's our leftover cranberry sauce pizza. Let's move on to making our second pizza. It's time for our second pizza, and this time we're going to open it uh, with a puffy crust. So we're just being careful to trap all those beautiful air bubbles in our crust. We're going to start with our candy yams. Give it a little bit of a smoosh. And what that's going to do is it's going to create these edges that will crisp up in the oven, which sounds good to me. Go in with our low moisture mozzarella. So this pizza is all about contrasting textures. You're going to have a beautiful cheese pull of the low moisture mozzarella. Then you're going to have that soft uh, candied yam. And then finally, you're going to have the crunch of our streaky bacon. Very light dusting of some lina. So this pizza, we're going to cook at a medium high flame. And we're just waiting for the back of the crust to puff up before we want to start turning. Now, uh, what you want to watch out for is the bacon burning in the oven to an inedible crisp. Booty check, <laughs> looking good. We're going to um, cut it before adding our post baked ingredients. And to do that, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> it's our pizza rocker, straight from Medieval Top. No, I'm just kidding. Straight from Gosney, uh, new accessory. I've never tried this before. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Ooh, that is brutal. <laughs> All right. And then uh, we're gonna finish this off with some parsley, so I'm gonna grab a few leaves, tear them a little bit. Uh, last but not least, our sour cream shallots. Each slice gets a bit of this sour cream love. It's shallot to handle. <laughs> oh, so bad. Man, are the puns getting worse or what? Thanksgiving leftover pizzas. One uh, featuring our leftover cranberry sauce, and another starring candied yams. So it's time for my favorite part, eating the pizza. Leftover cranberry sauce pizza first. So um, the way that we opened the pizza gave it this kind of a cross section uh, instead of your usual flat and puffy crust. So let's, let's tuck in. 
So you've got the silky whipped goat cheese with another aromatic, which is extra virgin olive oil, with another aromatic, which is rosemary. Then you've got a bit of a salt hit from the coppa. And then that explosion of um, sweetness from the cranberry sauce. And finally, the crunch from the pistachios. This is a good start. <laughs> Our candied yam pizza. <laughs> The soft sweet potato and the shallots kind of melding with that sweet potato flavor. And then of course the crispy bacon kind of throwing a curveball with the texture. And it tastes totally different from Thanksgiving dinner. So I guess we can call this a Thanksgiving leftover glow up. <laughs> if you want to give your Thanksgiving leftovers a glow up, check out gosney.com. and it's gonna be golden and delicious, and I probably needed a bigger pit, but that's okay. We're going to get started on the whips. We're, sorry. You can use as much candied yam or sweet potato casserole as you like, or as you have left over. But just saying, if I were invited to your Thanksgiving, you wouldn't have leftover sweet potatoes because I would be all up in there. <laughs> slice right through your pizza, and that it does. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of this. Um, you can see that the different... Oh, should I pause when there's thunder? Oh, okay. 